What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought this keyboard on mouse on Amazon. I needed a new keyboard because I beat my old one up and it was corded uh, anyway. And this one is a wireless keyboard, but I got it because it included the keyboard and the mouse. I also like the fact that it didn't have, you know, the, the, the side keypad because I don't really use that very often and I would rather have free up the desk space. But I will tell you that as I was looking for uh, a keyboard to try out, there were, besides the fact that this included the mouse, which not every, you know, um, keyboard did, and actually most of them did not, I feel like, but on top of that, what I really did like is that uh, it was cheap. This was the cheapest one I could find, to be honest. You know, there were slightly cheaper without the mouse, but I thought, why, why do that? I want to say it was like 12 bucks or something for this whole set. Now, I will say that uh, I'm not exactly sure that if you have to have a built-in Bluetooth receiver, you absolutely might. And so, you know, this could work with a laptop or, um, you know, a desktop if you have a Bluetooth receiver. And it seems to all be here at least. So that's cool. Now here's the mouse. It kind of looks like, uh, it, it really has the form factor of the Apple mouse. You know, it's really low and, you know, double curved, curved this way, curved this way. It's very comfortable. It has kind of soft touch plastic on the top. It looks like we have a, a button here and then the scroll wheel, wheel here. Uh, it seems to have pretty decent clicks. You can hear them. And I mean, it, it definitely feels like it. You know, the, in, the, the underside here kind of curves in too. So I've noticed when you use like the Apple mouse, you know, the finger rests there really comfortably. Um, now I will say that it looks like there's the optical laser and then you have a battery compartment here and just by the weight of it, it has no batteries in it. So it looks like it takes two triple A's. So you will have to find those on your own. And then here's the keyboard. And I will say again, light. So, you know, just uh, light construction. It also has kind of that Apple look, like that Apple keyboard look. Um, not quite a replication, but you know, with that thicker rolled uh, edge here, and then kind of, um, kind of that flat, you know, panel here, chiclet style keyboard. And again, no trackpad or, or um, you know, keypad on this side, so really Apple keyboard-like. Obviously, though, it's not aluminum. This is plastic, and it feels kind of cheap, but it does have a, a matte finish, so, you know, it shouldn't show fingerprints, and I like that everything's flat, uh, and I do like chiclet style. I just, it's weird typing on keyboards that aren't chiclet style. You have all the arrow directional keys here and then what I also like taking a look at is whether this is a single button it's not the enter button here is separated which is kind of nice backspace there and a delete button you do have a windows and a function button and then I guess you have some functions up here for controlling you know uh, your computer so everything looks pretty standard now uh, you don't have any kick out legs or anything like that you do have a little plastic tab here kind of for feet they are not rubber you do have two kind of hard rubber feet up here for a little bit of traction so it shouldn't slide around on you too much but uh, you do put in the batteries right here and again I don't know how many but it looks like double A's or triple A's I'm sorry but I'm not sure how many I'm assuming maybe two but what's also interesting is it looks like you don't need to have Bluetooth installed because it looks like you get a Bluetooth receiver right there so that's pretty awesome too because you know, just buying these things, it might be only be a few bucks, but the fact that you have it, and the fact that it's, I guess, meant to be stored in here if you're taking it around is kind of cool. So, that's awesome. So, I'll throw in some uh, AAA batteries. We'll get this thing plugged in. I'll use it a little bit and give you final thoughts. FYI, I found out that you only need two AAA batteries in the keyboard, so that's kind of nice. So, just four AAA batteries overall for both the keyboard and the mouse. So I've been using it for a little while here, and I'll tell you, this is pretty comfortable. The, the one thing that's probably a little um, different than my other mouse with the, when it has kind of a big humpity hump in the back here, is that my hand is really low, kind of like the Magic Mouse, but um, you know, I'm almost to used to not used to having my palm kind of running on the mouse pad or on my table. So that's one thing that it takes a little bit used to, but uh, it seems to work just fine. One of the things that I actually really do like is that the wheel here has kind of some distinct, you know, but subtle and not overdone clicks, right? So it kind of clicks in each place, but it's, it's distinct and, you know, um, 
it, it feels good. It feels conclusive. It feels uh, right, and it kind of feels high quality. Um, but it's it's just uh, something you don't notice until you start scrolling with it. So it feels good. I really I really like that. I don't know why I'm raving about that so much, but I like it. And then the keyboard works just fine. It's uh, it's uh, you know when you're going to this keyboard, and for the guys already on the Apple keyboard, you know th they won't have this issue. But when you're dropping a keyboard that has a a keypad here, it always kind of feels a little weird. It, you're kind of not centered the right way. Uh, but everything works just fine. Uh, key response is just fine. Um, even the travel on the keys is pretty nice. There's no, there is a little click at the end. But it's like a soft click. You know, like, a, you know, a MacBook or something like that. So, you know, it feels good. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe I wish the, the um, you know, the plastic were a little higher quality. But like I said, for 12 bucks for the pair, how can you go wrong, right? I, You can't. You can't. Well, trust me everything was absolutely plug and play i just plugged in that usb uh bluetooth receiver into my desktop computer uh it did a little bit of uh in windows finding it and installing the driver but it was working even before it was done with that so i really like this think it was a great deal um you know no cords uh no nothing i know that dropping a cord off a keyboard and a mouse is not exactly cutting edge technology but if you're looking to go cordless without uh, breaking the bank Check it out. I will put a link to them in the description because I'm pretty pleased with it. Peter Von Panned out.